What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how to mount the quick tuning aero kit, rear bumper for BMW E30. It's cold out today, it's January. Let's get to it. Coming from the hood to the boys, all the two stars, five thirty inches on a bucket all. Alright, so for the first step, we're gonna take off the factory bumper cover. Take your flathead and you're gonna pop off your side markers on the factory bumper cover, which are right here. Just like that. I've already disconnected the actual wiring harness, but you just pull on it and it comes right off. Pretty easy. Now the other side. Just like that, boom. You don't have to be that gentle if you have the click tuning body kit because you're not gonna be using these anyways, unless you would wanna like cut a hole in this part to actually have it fit. But there's no point because you're gonna be smashing the thing off walls anyways. All right, so what I did, I took this bigger flathead screwdriver and I pried behind the rear fender well or tire and got right up in there just pried it and came right off right off the mounts right in there and then i'm going to do the same on the other side and hopefully the rear bumper cover will come right off both sides are off the passenger side and driver's side now the only thing holding it on now is this part so i think there's a bunch of little bolts or something so i'm going to pop off this piece and see what's in there. Now I'm not going to be reusing this uh, and it's already kind of beat up so there's no point. I'm just going to basically hack the thing off. If you guys want to save it, feel free to. That. Now I'm pretty sure that these two plastic tabs are the only things holding it on. So let's see. Hopefully we're right. Alright, let's put the new bumper on. Bumper's halfway on. So now the last step to do is we're going to have this part supported up about here obviously more in but we're gonna have to mark where we want it and we're gonna drill a hole here right through this bumper and we can either drift stitch it with zip ties that way if you get hit or you hit something it'll break the ties and not shatter whatever's holding on well not shatter your bumper because zip ties will break faster than bolt wood or rib nut I think we're gonna end up doing rib nuts just because they look better but yeah same on this side this is obviously going to go behind the fender, or in the wheel well. So we're going to jack up the car and take off the rear tires so that we can get into the wheel well. And I'm going to try to drill holes inside the wheel well where the bumper wraps around so that way no one can see bolts or zip ties or whatever's holding it on. It will look a lot cleaner that way. From the hood to the boys, all the superstars, five thirty inches on a bucket or a newer car. So flingy, flingy, so flingy, so flingy, flingy, so flingy. So so I ran into a little bit of an issue. So the factory bumper, right, let me take this off. The factory bumper right, right here, won't let the body kit bend enough to line up flush right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a whiz wheel and I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut right here down. So that way it'll give the bumper more room to flex and you won't be stressing the fiberglass trying to get around this bend. Alright, I couldn't find my whiz wheel. Well, I didn't really try that hard, so I'm going to try with the Sawzall. It might be horrible, but that's all I can find right now. If it starts to give me issues, then I'm going to take my time and find the one whiz wheel. Now 
let's do the other side. I just cream and sugar, right. or I was like light cream or whatever. Alright, so the fiberglass bumper is too cold and it's been shipped kind of at a weird angle so it's a little off so we're gonna bring it inside uh, get it warm and we're gonna stress it in a little bit so that way we'll have some more room to push it over the bumper so yeah let's go bring it inside Yeet. I'm using zip ties to torque both ends together and I'm gonna leave it like that in the warm house and hopefully it will flex them in more so we can fit the bumper you gotta do what you gotta do all right guys Good news and bad news. Good news is the bumper's on. But the bad news is I filmed the entire step-by-step -step process and the last half got erased from my SD card somehow. So now I'm just gonna give you guys the overview so I can finish up this video. Sorry in advance. So zip ties worked out really well and um, this is how I got it to fit after I cut the zip ties. I cut out the under bumper or whatever the factory bumper from here to here so all that's left is where the shock mounts go where the bumper shocks are and then i took two of these clamps and i basically clamp each side right in the middle there and there and i torque them little by little on each side going back and forth. Once I got the bumper sitting where I want, pretty much perfect, I marked here and here, and then I drilled through the bumper until it scored the metal bumper on the actual car. Well, the inside fender right here. And then I took everything off, and then I just drilled the holes on the car. And then I took my rib nut gun, which is the best thing ever and I use this size which is uh, 8 by 32 that's the thread and they look like this and so what these do is they thread on to the end of the gun like this and then the hole that you drilled you put the end of it in like this and then all you do is squeeze the trigger thread it with this handle like that and then you have an installed rib nut and after I got all the rib nuts installed well the rib nut um, inserts installed I put the bumper back on then I used the clamp again on each side just like before and then I just threaded in these allen bolts and I just went on each side back and forth and I torque them down until they sit where, well, sat where I wanted them to be. I think the fitment's pretty good. Same on this side, just like that. Let's see if I can get my flashlight in there. But yeah, I think it looks pretty clean. But yeah, that's how I installed the click tuning arrow rear bumper on my E30. Um, comment below if you guys did it a different way or you have an idea on how to mount it better. I think I did a pretty decent job for the first time. The second side of it went a lot smoother because I already knew what I had to do. Yeah, I'm going to do the, the, the side skirts next and then the front bumper. The front bumper I have to do last just because I have to move my intercooler piping and that's more of a, like more of a job than to just measure, drill rivnut holes and then mount it. 
But yeah, please like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.